All right, so today we're gonna to fit the uh, Bush Wraps DIY protective film. Goes along the sides of the cars there, just to protect it from all the pinstripes and things like that when you're out bush. Is a DIY kit. I think they do um, professional installs uh, in Brisbane there, so a bit far for us to travel from Kalgoorlie. So yeah, these are the DIY option. Branch goes all the way down your side. All the doors uh, up and over the rear guard as well. So branch everywhere that gets absolutely nailed when you go through the bush. Using this Bowden Zone stuff, really good. Australian made and owned, and yeah, just use it on the Camaro as well. Do it before you wash, gives it a good uh, rinse. Of all the crud, you see it all running down, so yeah, no, I definitely recommend this stuff. and zone stuff good stuff get into it all right next step clay bar we got to do this before we put the protective film on uh, just to get rid of any impurities or anything like that so yeah it's pretty much I never use this really on the Camaro so I think a 200 series is getting a bit spoiled if it's getting a clay bar but anyway Got to follow the instructions. A bit of soapy water so it doesn't stick. Let's nice, just go over it. Now you would have seen this clay bar in the car earlier. We do that just to get rid of any contaminants on the paint. So when we lay this film down, there's no bubbles or anything like that or any little uh, road grime, dirt, all that sort of stuff that will be sticking underneath it. Because once it's down there, yes, it's going to be on there for a couple of years for our application anyway. So make sure we do that right. And then, yeah, it should be good from then on. It's nothing too exciting. It just comes in a roll. All your templates already cut out, ready to go. The applicator pad and the instructions. So yeah, this was like from Brisbane to Kalgoorlie. I think it took two days, three days to get here, which is incredible for usual shipping. It takes about that to get from down the street. So now uh, quite happy with uh, with it so far. We'll just see how it goes when it gets put on the car. So the kit doesn't come with provision for your snorkel. So pretty much you either have to take the snorkel off or when you put the film on this side here there's a you can make a template up and so you can cut around the snorkel so it slides over the top pretty much so uh, I've had a look and to do pull this snorkel off you got to pull the air box out and do all that sort of stuff inside there and you know I haven't really got the time to do that I'm only on break now so pretty much just going to do the template way so we'll cut a template out around the snorkel this will be the last panel I do so obviously we can get good at doing these other panels and this will be the last one, so yeah, start with the easiest one first, finish with the hard one. Alright, so we've already got this side all on, 
Uh, I'll have to get some footage a bit later on of putting it on. It's a bit tricky. Uh, as you can see, you can't really tell it's even on there. You get up really close and you can just see the edge going around the handles. Little tiny edge. But when they're finished, you get a hairdryer or a heat gun and you heat up the edges and it molds together. So it makes it a bit more permanent and also um, blends it in a bit better. So yeah, you can see this. Oh, it's really hard to see. Yeah, slight line there. But yeah, so the whole front guard, door, rear door, rear guard, and up around here, it's all been done now. Yeah, so pretty happy with the way it's gone on. That took me about an hour. So yeah, we'll get the other side done tomorrow. So after all that, new ones installed, had a bit of a malfunction with the old GoPro, so none of it got recorded, but pretty much you just have to work your way around with these squidgy pads, wetting the, water, uh, wetting the surface down first with a spray bottle full of uh, water and a mixture of soap, like liquid dishwashing soap, just to keep it all wet. And then you pretty much just have to go around and squidgy out all the water from underneath once it's laid down. And that's pretty much it. So I was a bit annoyed there. I had good footage of uh, moving it all around, getting it in around these tight areas and up on behind here, in behind there. But yeah, now well, live and learn. Don't trust a GoPro. Anyway, she's on there now. Um, just getting the rest of those little air bubbles out or water bubbles you can see here. It's a little bit of a bubble. So pretty much just get your squidgy and you sort of push it down there, give it a wipe over, get the water from out from underneath it. And that's pretty much it. A few little bits more. Now I've had to add some paint, just some touch up paint on some chips here. Obviously that's not gonna fix anything there, but it's just gonna sit over the top of it. So sometimes they look like you've got bubbles, but it's actually just touch up paint from previous um, stone chips. So if I had this on before, I wouldn't add stone chips. That's the theory anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Going on the Holland track in a couple of weeks, so give it a good test out then. Um, yeah, and see how it goes, see whether it uh, lives up to the to its name, so yeah, it should be good. Anyway, now we've just got to get the heat, hair dryer or the heat gun around the edges, finish it off. All right, so after looking, can't find my heat gun. I think I've lent it to someone. So. The Remington Sleek and Silent 2200 for the win. So we just chuck it on warm. We'll just go around, like I said, do the edges. Pretty much just heat up the edges. Just run your finger along just to seal it off. Get it nice and um, nice and permanent. So yeah, we'll just go through that now. And that's it, pretty much done. That's it, it's all put on now. So yeah, just a matter of um, taking it out on the track and seeing how it goes. Apparently when the scratches are on there, all you have to do is just either pour hot water over it or just leave it in the sun. And um, yeah, they disappear, they self heal. So anyway, that's it. Hope you like that. Um, sorry for all the missed footage, but anyway, it's all pretty repetitive. But yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, give us a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Cheers to that, guys. Take it easy.